Hi, this is Ross, and this is DIY on the house. Today I'm going to show you how to change a vacuum breaker on an Arrowhead brand hose bib that goes on the house. This vacuum breaker um, installs just on Arrowhead uh, frost-free hose bibs. And if you have a different type of hose bib, uh, this won't work for it. One of the symptoms of the vacuum breaker going bad is when you turn it on, you'll actually get water squirting out right here and basically everywhere. And it doesn't stop or, or it's dripping consistently while you have a hose hooked up to it. So we're going to take this off and we're going to be using part number PK1390 and this is an arrowhead breaker. These are kind of a pain to remove and the reason is that this top uh, top flange or the top threaded piece right here is has a red uh, thread locker on it and the only way to get that off typically is to heat that up and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started and take our pliers and about 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to find that this lower extension piece just screws off and actually comes off fairly easy. Um, the big part is this part right here. I'm going to put a uh, pair of pliers on a channel locks and try to turn it and finding that it won't turn. Okay, and the thing is you don't want to just, you know, try to rake on that thing because you end up busting the bib off and uh, or busting parts off this and then you're going to have real issues. So what I typically do, I have a torch and that torch heats up the, uh, the thread locker on this. I, I heat it right around this area right here. I just get it nice and warm. And then once it heats up enough, I'll be able to, to actually move the uh, this top piece. And once it starts moving, you keep moving it so the uh, thread locker doesn't uh, cool back off and try to lock back up. So at home, not everybody's gonna have a torch. Probably most people don't. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take a regular little clicker. We're gonna heat that up and this, is probably going to take a while to heat that up. We want to get this piece right here fairly hot to the point where we can actually remove this. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat it up with my way so it doesn't take forever. But um, if that's all you have is a clicker or something like that, use that. So I'm just going to get this warmed up. It doesn't take very long. Once it's hot enough, There, it starts to move, and then once it starts moving, we just keep going with it. And at this point, you don't want to touch it unless you have a pair of gloves on because, you know, it's got hot enough to actually take the bond off that thread lock. And I can actually see um, there's a little bit of a tinge of red thread locker on there, and that's what uh, was getting hot. So after we get that off, we're gonna cool it down a little bit. And right now, you can see that this thread right here, there's no way a hose bib that actually would screw onto that. And that's because that this is hose bib thread, this is a fine thread. So totally different. So we're gonna unpackage our part. And it, the new package has a little uh, locking nut on it. We wanna screw that out, we don't wanna take it out all the way. Uh, we just wanna make sure it's not, when we screw it on, it's not affecting the threads and, and stripping those off as we go. So we're gonna make sure our rubber's in here. I'm going to screw that on nice and tight and right now that the uh, the little knock locker bolt screw is right there I'm going to take it over here so when I turn the bib on I don't rake my fingers and my knuckles on that and then I'm just going to take the nut now this this nut is designed to break off once it gets enough pressure on it I don't like doing that because these things, they don't last forever in another, you know, five, six, seven, ten years. I want to take this off. I'm going to be able to take it off. If you, if you break this nut off, you end up having to take a little uh, saw, saw a little V-notch here, break off this piece of brass to get that nut off so you don't ruin the threads when you take it back off. Really light pressure. I'm actually not even gripping the pliers. I'm just kind of letting it slide over. That's locked on. Okay. And... Our bib is working correctly again. 
so super. Um, one thing I did notice on this one, we were getting a little drippage around the handle. Sometimes when you uh, have a bib that drips right around the handle area here, just take your pliers, give it a, just a little nudge, not even an eighth of a turn, just a little nudge just to tighten that packing back onto that stem and uh, it's good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully that saves you some money on a service call from a plumber and uh, it's just one of those things that's easy to do it yourself. Thanks for watching DIY on the house. Mm -hmm.